I'm getting emotional now. I hate that. I sound weird like F. <laughs> Oof. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hello people, welcome back to my channel Salut les amis, bon retour et bienvenue sur ma chaîne Hola, bienvenue dans mon canal Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yokoso I hope you're doing fine today Of course, never never forget to subscribe Because I love fashion in general I do two fashion videos twice a week Tuesday and Thursday, 3 p.m. is the time every single week So if you want to see all about that All about my quick pre moments All about like my dancing moves Because I love dancing, you know African blood here but you know, don't forget to turn on the notification button so that you, you can get notified every time that a new video comes out so it's even better for you to just do it and why not it's free and on this channel already if you're watching me right now so why do you have to lose really you know usual but today was specially dedicated to a chatty video this time and it's related to me where I open up a little bit more on how I got to just be so obsessed with fashion and that just grew more and more it's just related to everything that I've been through before in the past growing up in a different country, different continent through different continents altogether if you want to see the rest of course keep on watching and believe me it's gonna be good a cup of tea, chocolate, everything you want it's gonna be fun, I promise you I that many of you know me that much and I, it was really important for me to just kind of break a wall here believe me, I hate doing it because of my personality, the way I am I've been raised in a way where this is a private part of your life and then there's a part where you can freely share it uh, boundaries so this is why I just always set my boundaries uh, a great way to just introduce myself a little bit more and to know where's that fashion obsession come from just gonna go to like the main parts that actually help me to be the girl and the woman I am today you can see that I, I feel so awkward because it just like talking about me oh, yes i never really fit it in any type of category here i'm a weirdo at heart and i'm kind of getting used more and more to it to be honest i'm more and more fine by being different i think the first thing that i need to say is that i'm, I'm from cameron it's like central africa little little nice country i should say the food is amazing it's gonna be long <laughs> because i'm gonna talk a lot but here my mom always always used to be a kind of fashionista at heart if i could say it like that she came from my grandma I've always seen my grandma being like super stylish being really well put together every time that we go out i used to just have to dress up a certain way for certain different type of situations i think there's a lot more to do with cultural side of it as well it's pretty well known that african they love love to be love the flamboyant colors the freaking brightest colors like we love it so we we really 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 do love it but the most important thing here is that it's just to where where we need to just show that there's a way to dress up and that actually says a lot about that family when we see a person when we see a family when we see people the first thing that we're gonna see is gonna be the way they're gonna dress and no matter what everybody is gonna tell me right now and right here i think it's still important today because you're not gonna go to an interview and being dressed up in jeans and t-shirt and expect to have the job if it's like a corporate environment if you want to be a lawyer or any kind of really strict more strict type of environment don't expect to have the job and don't expect to be surprised if you don't even get the job add up to that the fact that we used to travel a lot in Europe and France is like my second village that I like to say a lot of different cultures so European culture definitely um, marked my mind I grew up between the African culture and the European culture and in the middle of that I was a fan of everything regarding Japan <laughs> <laughs> I still have that Japan addiction till today. I grew up so with that, even that changed a little bit, but in a better way. I can really dress the way I used to dress when I was 15, you know. Crazy when it comes to Japan, South Korea, 
China and Taiwan was probably my favorite so I used to watch a lot of Japanese animes because I was drawing right and everything that I was drawing was related to mangas was related to just setting up stories and creating my own mangas on my own you know I grew that passion and the point where I was looking for whatever I wanted to do for my life was the end of like high school I said to my mom mom I want to be a mangaka which is technically somebody that would draw mangas that would create like anime series and just have a life with it you know a career in it or make money out of it and African parents in general they don't see too much the passion like you can have a big big passion for a lot of stuff it's not gonna matter for them it's not gonna matter it's not that they hate the fact that you have a passion for it they're gonna be really happy and really supportive of you but if you keep it as a passion <laughs> they expect more career on the financial level of it it was not a way of living and having a really stable career which is kind of true so my mom said no pretty much okay well <laughs> other things that i could do at that point i think i always had the passion for fashion for sure because i had a mix and that's probably how i came up with the style that i have today where i kind of love mixing matching a lot of stuff because you don't have to just like stay to a specific type of style whether it's like african or just european or just asian i had kind of the freedom and i was aware of all of these styles already freedom to just like express myself more through my outfits being in a french school we don't have to wear like uniforms we kind of wear everything that we want to like certain roles to dress up appropriately again it's the probably some of these roles that even at home my mom wouldn't let me go out with a really super short skirt jean with something really revealing she wouldn't even let me out with that she would be like girl get back here and freaking change up <laughs> in french ma chérie reviens ici tu t'échanges tu me changes tout ça mon ami tu remets non 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 ma chérie reviens ici ma fille oh, viens ici tu m'enlèves tout ça tu me mets de bonnes affaires, tu mets bon vêtement là, tu sens c'est quoi ça hein? Mon nom qui est sur ta tête là, tu vas aller me faire honte là-bas avec les gens Tu veux aller me faire honte Non, this is exactly what my mom would say. You have family name on your head, so when you go out, it's just not you. It's our family and the family name on top of it. So girl, just dress up. That led me to a lot of styles from Japan. Biggest back in the day, like 2000, because yes, I'm not that old, but yes, you know, I'm getting there. Well, the Gyaru style, which I'm gonna show you a picture here. Not a picture of me because believe me, nobody needs to see that. Haru in Japanese mean girl. Of over makeup, over like not there was a lot of movements within the gyaru the yamamba which is more towards like being uh, as tan as possible as dark as skin as possible you had other types of like gyaru there was so many of them I grew up with that movement you can expect me to try that kind of look sometimes at school Girl. okay I mean, you're still my daughter and I still love you the same. We're African, we don't have, and back then, she doesn't have as many Asian people in Cameron, right? Everything that I learned with Asian culture was through animes, was through movies, was through my own readings and really high interest. So read up everything. At some point, I would almost mimic Japanese type of doing things. And I grew up to love them even more because I think Asian culture in general, there's a lot of respect. There's a lot of respect towards other people, towards people that actually have a lot more experience compared to you and just respect for people in general and for the nature and that's something that I enjoy and love a little bit similar to my own culture. We still have that big respect towards people and even more respect towards like other people so, so fast forward still in high school i was born with a creative mind and i love trying out so many things after my gyaru phase i went to the gothic emo phase reminiscence here You are, yeah, you definitely went through a lot <laughs> in a good and a bad way. 
I wouldn't drink blood or anything like that just saying it was just the appearance of it having dark colors on me and I used to wear a lot of black a lot and mostly be black or brown that was my colors that was my go-to and i think it was a lot more to do with the fact that i've been raised in that kind of middle where there was the european culture and when it comes to dressing up when it comes to the fashion and the style it's a lot more subtle not wearing super flashy colors really classy and chic and elegant kind of mindset as well so that made me be really aware of being dark colors being the main and good thing and flashy colors being a lot more tacky that was my mindset back then i'm just saying it was too tacky it was too déjà vu it was too much and i was not a fan of that I would even wear more black and along with that i would actually wear a lot more jewelry such as like spider rings skull rings i had a lipstick on it would be something much more darker mom was had like was just wondering what was going on with me and this only stopped me from doing it she was just make sure that it was just the appearance of it and nothing more so, like all of that being in high school i was shy i was super shy even scared to talk to my teachers if i had questions speaking out about anything regarding like social things like talking to people I still had friends believe it or not <laughs> why because i think i do have a vibe where i just attract people in a good way where I don't mind having people come up to me to talk because i enjoy that but i would never come up to people and talk to them that's something that i i still up until today struggle with my worst fear ever it's easier now just be scared to speak in front of the public or have presentations done in class for exams or works or homeworks was the worst add up to that again another fact because I had all these passions or all these interests that to be honest are really different from any normal high school girl especially in Africa in Cameroon where um, thing regarding like America like cool and back in the day I was young so everything was cool like rap was cool R&B rap everything like that was so cool self style was cool so girl was just crushing on that kind of style so of course I had to deal with had other interests it was asia so of course i never fit it into any category because everything that i would do was just weird for people i would think was just different because i had a different perspective i started learning japanese by myself when i was maybe 13 13 14 ish high school or school in general are not that nice when you are different i can say that i got bullied i was seen as being different yet not different in a bad way but different yes but i was able to attract a good crowd i was able to attract the popular people i was able to attract the not so popular people and i was open to talk to everybody i wouldn't come up to people but every time that they would come up to me i would talk i would enjoy them i would have a really nice time with them and i would never judge to be honest i'm not gonna like hang out with you just because i want to be popular i never really never really had that kind of mindset until today i don't have that mindset that energy i kind of share that with people that was really 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 not a problem for me to make friends it was just my mindset and my perspective of thing that just set me apart from the rest of the people or from the rest of people in school so that actually stopped me from being the fully self that i am today or still working on being to be honest not a lot of people could get me so america to me was just whatever they wanted me to be bilingual so they sent me over here in north america in canada because united states they were just not a fan of it canada in Ottawa, ontario to be more specific so live by myself for the first time and just do my things on my own rhythm on my own vibes if i could say it like that a couple of years after i had a really different type of mindset i still had my interest of course and fashion was definitely my most interesting thing that i wanted to pursue but i decided to study psychology probably going through some experiences in cameron or some family situations i just grew to want to know more about like human behavior human brain 
I got my diploma but didn't actually start working in my uh, psychology I started working in administration yeah for a lot of different reasons family reasons like most of all I don't get into much details on that because I still think it's like a lot more private but if I ever decide to open up about that you will know for sure but today and the day for it <laughs> I decided to move to Montreal out of curiosity just because I wanted to see something different I love Ontario I will always love Ontario and I think living in Ottawa was the best thing that I would ever do I speak other languages but for sure that gave me that kind of really nice way to just having to speak English with no problem at all whatsoever coming here I had a different definitely different mindset when I came to Montreal because I went through some really harder family situations and that was really hard for me that it made me much more stronger and much more up to you to get what you want you know God is here to help you God is here to support you no matter what but God is not gonna do it at your place God is not gonna do the work for you you have to put in the work as much as you can if you want to get that done it's gonna lift you up it's gonna give you the energy to just put in the work you need to do to get wherever you need to go fashion was a lot bigger than just dressing up during the day or dressing up to go out through all my hardships through all my difficult situations I realized that fashion for me was a kind of therapy by dressing up a certain way I would feel better it really instantly transform my mindset or transform my mood so that thing if that helped me as much as it did that could help people out there how I started thinking about maybe push you more in that fashion direction than anything else so I decided to share more about my outfits more about my style on YouTube on Instagram I always had a creative mind which led me to have not only to do like drawings manga anime series and stuff like that but other than that having videos done having montage editing that's something that I love to do back then I didn't do any videos related to me I would do any montage video regarding some clip videos that I would love some artists that I would love mainly Japanese music that I would choose and then the certain parts of the series that I would watch and just have a really nice video clip out of that I use music to convey an emotion so I use music because it helps me to express myself more fashion and music are just a best and the best combination when it comes to me I love dancing because it's not a way of expressing myself I don't have to speak I don't have to act I just let my body express itself through fashion through the dance whenever I have a difficult or stressful day I just always think about what I want to achieve it's not something that I want to achieve for myself through my experiences through my history through my background as well some people might take dressing up as being something super superficial and that's okay too because not everybody wants to be a fashion designer not everybody wants to be a youtuber not everybody wants to be a fashionista not everybody wants to be a blogger or anything like that you need to have every type of mindset and even the worst to be able to balance it out that's how life is made up that's my mindset to me it's all about a balance how to do that I wouldn't even have the time to do it every single day if to me having to do an insta story every single morning to have to show up an outfit or show you an outfit was just to show off everything that i had in my closet i do it because i know if it can inspire at least one person out there if somebody can see my styling in the morning and be like oh i feel better because if she did it i can do that myself believe me guys that's probably something that i'm the most proud of and because at the same time i want to inspire but i'm trying to set up a business on it it's there is the creative part of it because i love doing it it's a passion but at the same time there's a financial part of it where you have to think really think well where you want to go because your money is gonna depend on it not at that point yet because I have a full-time job that actually supports me to just have that passion but at some point this passion is gonna be my way of making a living 
it is my goal to think about all of that realize that i can't fit into any category because i have had so many influences throughout my youngest age throughout my life i'm edgy but edgy again is another category another day i could be much more than chic another day i could be super casual another day i could just look different i got that back then in high school whenever i would dress up people were just looking at me and be like only in your mind that you can have that kind of outfit so ashamed because i was not categorized and i was not being seen as being part of the crowd and you're young you want to be the part of the crowd you want to be included in the crowd younger people younger girls out there if you're watching this video believe me we all went through that other sister is gonna talk to you and say that honey you don't need to be like other people you can be you and different that and that's okay too I know it's hard to believe. Yes, she might be right, but I still want to be like my friend out here because she's popular with people. That's not the life. Because at the end of the day, when you're gonna grow up, when you're gonna be by yourself, you're gonna have to please yourself first because that other popular girl is not gonna be with you. Being yourself is probably the best value that you will ever have. Being yourself doesn't mean that you have to be like everybody else. And being yourself doesn't mean that you have to be different from anybody else. Being yourself means that you have to be you and be comfortable being you. And that will be whether being the part of the crowd or be really different from the crowd. That's okay too. Fashion is the best thing ever to me. I realize that I can express myself much more. I realize that I actually can pull out my own outfits and yes, I'm gonna have eyes on and yes, people are gonna look at me either because they really like it or because they think it's just over the top, but that's okay too. I'm almost okay with that. I'm almost okay with not fitting into anybody's category or anybody's box really 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 eager to just keep being that different person that you see now in front of camera talking to you who would have believed that i would be able to do that uh, 10 years from now minimum somebody told me that i would be like <laughs> girl you are lying <laughs> Ça ne marche pas. Je, je, non, non, je ne le ferai pas. C'est pas mon truc, c'est pas mon dada, c'est pas mon affaire. It's not for me. Not everybody would have believed that. How do you, how are you so confident? How can you project so much confidence? And I always say to people, I'm just getting comfortable in my own skin. Back then, my skin and that difference was my worst enemy. It's a good thing and a bad thing at the end of the day. You have to assume it. You have to be good by being different everybody no matter where you're gonna go if i'm black i'm gonna be categorized as being a black woman if i'm african i'm gonna be categorized as being african if i'm asian or japanese i'm still gonna be categorized as being japan or asian if i'm gonna have expectations coming from that you know stereotypes coming from that that's something that you have to keep fighting against because at the end of the day I don't want to be like everybody expect me to be. I can't be like everybody expect me to be. That's probably the message that I'm trying to convey today by talking and opening more about myself is that you don't have, and I'm telling you guys and I'm gonna stress that, you don't have to be in a box. You don't have to be categorized and you have to be okay with the fact to not being categorized. When I'm coming at you with styling videos or just Outfits ideas, it comes from my perspective, it comes from my experience. I don't expect everybody to like what I wear. Everybody to just like the way I do that, the way I style a certain type of outfit, or the way I just do styling videos altogether. If it's something much more constructive, of course I'll be more than open to listen to you and be like, okay, what do you want me to fix? Or how can it be better? So there needs to be a balance between hearing what people are gonna say from whatever you're trying to achieve in your life and having to set your feet where they will just come at you to destroy in my you. life right it was really 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 rough it still is but i kind of manage it better i guess i want to believe that not only god helped me and gave me the best support he could ever give me my mom officially was 
honestly she's my rock aunt until today she's my person she's not in Canada she doesn't live here I would almost cry right now but I won't and I don't want to but go throughout all of that in front of you guys but I'm just saying that going through all of it help me realize the woman that I want to be and the woman that I willing to work towards being you know gonna give everything for that sweat up for it I always always got support always I'm getting emotional now I hate that I'm really getting emotional Oof. okay Whew. it's not a dress it's not a shirt it's not a pair of pants is what you make out of it and what you make out of it is an extension of you it's an extension of your personality so nobody will never take it out from you nobody you can have the same piece of clothing as anybody else but the way you're gonna style it the way you're gonna associate other pieces with it it's gonna be you it's gonna be your dna it's gonna be your identity everybody has this way of getting through therapy if they need to and i think whenever i do it in front of you guys whenever i show you what i can do with my outfits don't think that it's just because i would love to show up without inspiration life is boring the thing that i'm building up is for you to be the best version of you be the best warrior of yourself with like jogging pants or leather pants or a tutu dress and through all of these faces by the way so it's okay i don't judge i've done all of them <laughs> mostly <laughs> for the most part believe that i have a creative mind to do it and if somebody comes up at me for it why not hire i still have that really difficult balance between getting the creative mind of it and then getting the business part of it and it's probably where i struggle the most with so if any of you have suggestions like i told you i'm open to anything and any kind of advice or scared of just wasting people time and that's my worst fear actually come up to people and selling stuff and be like you know i'm gonna help you i'm gonna get it. I, my anxiousness talking here hard for me to do i would just keep rambling and keep saying it but uh, i would just keep talking forever and ever and centuries and centuries but i think there is an end for everything and that's the end <laughs> like straight up that's the end that was my first level of opening up I mean, it's like step by step baby steps here if any of you have questions about me about my styling services or my styling questions all together please please don't hesitate reach out to me because i'm always available I speak french english i do speak japanese a little bit conversational i could speak in um japanese really nicely a bit of spanish Mm, Italian like really like middle level here Korean I'm really working on like learning it more because I learned Japanese throughout my university years so I'm more familiar with that than Korean of course at some point I will have to just like update that thing and just get into the real game here hope you like this video and I'll, of course I will see you next week for my next videos stay tuned for it have a beautiful weekend because it's fall it's cold but still fun and really broad outside so take advantage of it because winter is gonna be worse in canada especially so yeah and uh, like i say all the time enjoy and smile because it's free <laughs> bye